I'm Mr. Numbers, and my right brain pattern play math would not be possible without the most recent number, zero, which showed up in England just 600 years ago. Now wait a minute, you mean there was a different number system before? Yes, and there's a good chance that you've seen it many times. What chapter is this? Chapter 10. What Super Bowl is this? This is 46. And what Pope is this? John 23rd. And when was this movie produced? In 1954. You've seen these numbers many times. And they're called Roman numerals. Do you know how they work? Learning another number system can help us learn our own system better and understand how to use it better. The number one probably goes back to the Stone Age. Maybe it rained a full day and we put a mark on the wall of our cave. Number two is two marks. We haven't gone out because it's been raining for two days. Three is this three marks. Now we could put four and five marks for four and five, but there's an easier way. Five is a handful. And an easy way to mark that is a V. So that's five, is a V. Now four, we just take one in front of that. And the one is like subtraction. One in front of it is five minus one is four. And there we go. There's one, two, three, four, five in Roman numerals. Then put a one after the V, and there are six. And of course, two ones after the V, which is five, is five, six, seven. And three is eight. Now, 10 is two handfuls. That's an X. And if we want to do nine, we can just do one in front of the X. And there's our nine. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we, if we do X one, we have 11 and so on till we get to 20. And that's two X's. A real simple system. Three X's is 30. And when we get to, every time we get to five or 10, it changes to a new letter. So 50 is another five, and we can do an L with our hand. So there's our L, that's 50. And an X in front of that L is 50 minus 10 is 40. So there we go. There's 40 and 50. And an X after the L, of course, is easy. That's 60. And two X's after the L is 70. And three X's after the L is 50, 60, 70, 80. Now let's jump to 100. Now 100 is marked as a new letter is C. In a C, a centurion was a soldier in Roman times with a hundred men under him. And we still talk about a century as a hundred years. It all comes from the same basics. So an X in front of the C is 90. And then when we get to 200, that's two C's. Three C's is 300. Again, we'll get to 500, it's gonna be a new letter. And that's gonna be a D. Now an easy way to remember that is a CD worth $400. It was probably signed by one of the Beatles. Then put a C after the D is 600. Two C's after the D is 700. Three C's after the D is 800. And then we jump to a thousand and that's a new letter. That's an M, sort of a mega number. And a C in front of that is 100 from 1,000 is 900. So we can practice our subtraction here. Two M's is 2,000. And then three M's, of course, is 3,000. Now that's all the numbers that they had, all the letters that they had. And Think of all the numbers that we have and the gigabytes and all the different ways. 
Well, they had a way of going a little bit further. What they would do, like the next number four, would be four with a line over it, and five would be a five a V with a line over it. So they had some tricks around it, but they couldn't make all the complicated numbers that we make so much easier. Now, look at this number. This is 1,348 in our numbers and in Roman numerals. One M is 1,000. Three C's are 300. XL is 40. And V111 is 8. Now, if we mix them around, that's still 40. That's still 300, that's still 8, and that's still 1,000. No matter where you put them, it doesn't make any difference. Can you see that? They're still the same value. It's still 1,348. Now, let's just take the 348. In, in our numbers, if you mix them around and put them in different places, it's different. It's a whole different number worth twice as much. And if you move them around, you get a whole third number. So where a number is becomes very important. This is called place value. So zero allows us to have place value, where a number is. For instance, 5050 becomes 55 without the zeros. It's just 55. It's a whole different number. Now watch as we add zeros after a number. It changes the value incredibly. And if you add them before the number, each zero makes it 10 times different in value. So watch for Mr. Numbers on YouTube for more videos. The digits video will help you understand this one a little bit better. Or go to Pattern Play Math for the, right, the uh, free worksheets or the Right Brain Math book, DVD, and ebook. Bye for now.